Oksana Markarova, Ukraine's ambassador to United States, recently alleged that Russia had used a vacuum bomb during its invasion of his country. However, there has been no official confirmation of this claim. There have also been reported sightings of thermobaric rocket launches in Ukraine over the past few days. The use of thermobaric weapons, also known as vacuum bombs, is surely controversial because they are much more devastating than conventional explosives of similar size. Moreover, they have a terrible impact on anyone caught in their blast radius. I am Casey Ashuk from Kaumadi Global and let us see how a vacuum bomb works. A vacuum bomb, also called an aerosol bomb or fuel air explosive, consists of a fuel container with two separate explosive charges. This can be launched as a rocket or dropped as a bomb from aircraft. When it hits its target, the first explosive charge opens the container and widely scatters fuel mixture as a cloud. This cloud can penetrate any building openings or defenses that are not totally sealed. A second charge then detonates the cloud, resulting in a huge fireball, a massive blast wave and a vacuum which sucks up all surrounding oxygen. The weapon can destroy reinforced buildings, equipment and kill or cause injuries to people. They are used for a variety of purposes and come in a range of sizes, including weapons for use by individual soldiers such as grenades and handheld rocket launchers. Huge air-launched versions have also been designed specifically to kill enemies in caves and tunnel complexes. The weapon has highest impact in enclosed spaces. In 2007, Russia tested its biggest thermobaric weapon, the so-called father of all bombs. It created an explosion equivalent to a 44-ton conventional bomb. It was the biggest non-nuclear explosive device in the world. Given their devastating impact and their usefulness against defenders who are dug into buildings or bunkers, vacuum bombs have mainly been used in urban environments. This is significant as Russian forces are trying to take control of the capital Kyiv and other main cities in the east of the country. Now what are the rules of war for vacuum bombs? There are no international laws specifically banning the use of vacuum bombs. But if a country uses them to target civilian populations in built-up areas, schools or hospitals, that country could be convicted of a war crime under the Hague Conventions of 1899 and 1907. Thermobaric munitions were first used by the German army during World War II. They were not widely developed until the 1960s when the U.S. used them in Vietnam. The U.S. also used them in 2001 to try to destroy Al-Qaeda forces hiding in the caves of the Tora Bora mountains of Afghanistan. Russia used them in its war in Chechnya in 1999 and this drew flag from Human Rights Watch. Russian-made thermobaric weapons were also used in the Syrian civil war by the regime of Bashar al-Assad, according to reports.